Rock and roll. Solid. We started this journey 2,600 miles ago. My father and I looked high and low for a good quality bike rack. Something that I could hold four bikes on what I thought would be doable on the back of a travel trailer. Turns out you really can't and should not do that. Um, two seems to be the maximum. But we stumbled across a company called One Up. And from their website, we were blown away about the quality of the build and that, that small business style of taking care of the customer. And, and, and I mean, you can see the aluminum. I wanted something lightweight. I wanted something that was going to last. So we decided to go for it. Now, we don't carry four bikes on this. We carry three, which again is still more than their warranty. And I understand why they won't warranty that, but I'm okay with that because this thing is so well built. So we took this thing 2,600 miles so far, and we have a lot left to do, but we hit every kind of terrain, you know, 75 miles an hour in an interstate that is like, we would back roads, uh, dirt roads, some pretty nasty stuff, and this thing sustained it. And there is one tip that you should keep in mind. When you put the bikes on here, make sure nothing is touching. So space them out so one's far to the left, one's far to the right, so that no handlebars touch anything, no, nothing touches. Because ours scraped a little bit, and you can see on here how that rubbed on the back of the seat. And my mistake was allowing them to touch. So that's a tip. And I think that might apply to any bike rack that sits like this. We also bought their cable and their lock that goes with it, which turns out is really, really good. And I'm gonna show you how it comes off of here. And all of this is a little finicky. And there is a learning curve to removing everything from this. But this is one of those twist on locks, which I wasn't sure about, but turns out it's not bad. So you set that aside. We'll pull one bike out of here. Get this out. And there's a trick to this. I found that because the back wheel is stationary, it's not going to turn. You're gonna release the front first so that when it does turn, it doesn't fall on you. And all there is to this is a lift of this lever system. You can tell it's a spring-loaded lever, and then it's as simple as pulling that down. That is easy. So then when I do the back one, I grip the tire and I pull it back with me. Just so I've got some support. And then there's clearance. It is as easy as pulling that bike out and setting it down. And you can continue down the line. That easy. That easy. The last bike's a little tough to reach with four bikes, but it's doable. It's as easy as that to take these bikes off. And I wanted to point something out, and this is why we bought this. If we go up underneath of here, you can see on the hitch receiver, there's an Allen wrench key that you can tighten this in the receiver. I am shaking this like crazy and it's not moving. That's why we bought this one for the back of a travel trailer. So it's lightweight. It feels good. The thing is as solid as they come. And let me show you real quick. I'm going to put one bike back on and show you what it's like. It is this easy. And this is the farthest one. Watch this. Done. Doesn't get any better than that. So I cannot recommend something as much as I recommend the one up bike rack. This thing crushes the competition. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this review helpful. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe for more RV review videos as well as our full-time adventures. 
follow us at resetyourjourney.com.